Hello and welcome to my channel. With me are Easter greetings and an amazing set of honey glazed chicken wings that are a perfect blend of sweet and savory. The most interesting bit of our recipe today is that you can make it at the comfort of your home with basic kitchen ingredients and the wings are finger licking good. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I do request for your subscription and may you please like my video as well. To start us off, I have my 300 grams of my chicken wings thoroughly washed and chopped into small pieces by the joints. A chicken wing always has three parts and I have just uh, separated these three parts at the joints for easier cooking and even for a better kind of look. And to this I am going to add each of a pinch of the following ingredients. A pinch of salt, onion powder, black pepper, garlic powder, paprika and citric acid to act as a meat tenderizer therefore ensuring our meat is thoroughly cooked through we are going to marinate this for one hour and all my ingredients are listed in the description box down below One hour later, my chicken wings are fully marinated. So I am going to go ahead and just dust them with a coating of wheat flour. Wheat flour prevents the outer coating from overcooking during deep frying and ensures even cooking. Remember to dust off any excess flour to prevent forming a thick flour coating on the wings. And I am going to do this one by one for all my wings. The next step is frying and I'm going to add my chicken wing pieces into my hot oil one by one and I will keep turning them until everything is evenly cooked to a beautiful golden brown. For my glaze, I am preparing it under very low heat uh, and I'm going to heat a teaspoon of unsalted butter. You can as well use salted butter or even margarine in a cooking pot. And to this add a half a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. And at this point, if your mixture is burning, you can add very little water and stir to evenness then top up with three tablespoons of honey and stir this into a smooth paste. After this is done, you can now go in with your chicken pieces and mix well until everything is finely coated with our beautiful glaze. And to this, I am just going to sprinkle a little bit of my coriander leaves to just give it a beautiful look and some freshness of vegetables to eat. And here I have my mouth watering pieces. I really hope all of you will get to try this. A mouth watering treat in such a short preparation time. Don't you forget to give my content a like. Until next time, enjoy your Easter holidays. Bye.